Hello, my friends, and welcome to, I guess, Vlogmas Day One. So here we are, another year, another Vlogmas. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> um, yeah, and for the first time, we're doing Vlogmas here in Charlotte, North Carolina, where we now live, but anyone who's probably watching this already knows. But this Vlogmas is going to be unlike any other. Isn't that white? Isn't that white, Miss Mabel? This Vlogmas is going to be unlike any other Vlogmas we've had because we are going to be moving into our dream home. We close on it this coming week and then we will start moving in. This Vlogmas is going to be pretty intense as far as recording and moving and all of those things. When I chronicled the move last time, it was challenging. And this will be work and moving all at the same time, but I also feel like I'm in such a different space that I'm just like <laughs> excited about it. But I'm going to apologize in advance because there's going to be a lot of buying and unboxings just because we're essentially buying all new furniture. Well, we've already bought it and it starts getting delivered. So it's going to be a lot of unboxing stuff and getting a new home set up. But I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of what I did at this house because I was of course still gonna decorate for Christmas. So I'll give you a little tour of the 2024 theme. So down in our main entrance, I put two of my uh, Studio McGee trees from like years ago and I just tied them with like blue ribbons. That's the easiest way to make your decor work all year round. Just add some ribbon to it. And then you come up into our living room. So these trees I actually used on my Thanksgiving table last year and I forgot that I had them. And they just blended in with these houses so well and these all light up, not the trees, but the houses. And then around this vase, these are like the little touches you can add. I just tied another blue grow grain, grow grain ribbon around it. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk today. And then I did chartreuse and blue this <laughs> part in that blanket. It usually looks a little more put together, but that's Mabel's blanket for the couch. So on our couch, I did chartreuse pillow covers that I just got off of Amazon. Super reasonable, super cheap. They're really well made actually. And I love that they are just you can unzip them, put a new insert in, and then same thing with this. Got this off of Amazon. On our coffee table, I just got these little gold houses from Target and these trees. They're so cute. These houses light up as well. And then that is our tree and our garland for this year. I didn't want to overdo it. So I was originally going to do like the two trees like last year, but I was like, you know what? Now that we're moving in, I'm just going to keep it a little minimal. So in our garland, I did the chartreuse and blue ribbon and then some of these ceramic ornaments from Amazon that are like the chinoiserie pottery. They are real ceramic, so they're very heavy. And then some faux pears, some copper ribbons. This garland is from Amazon. It's so good. And then I got these light up snowballs from Target. They were so reasonable. They were like 17 bucks for the three of them. And then this is our tree this year. So that topper is from Anthropology, but it's Shinasuri ceramic ornaments and uh, pears. And then that chartreuse green and some icicles. It's so beautiful that I actually think I'm going to do this theme next year in our forever home. Then I just switched out a couple of the decorations here, did all gold because I just felt like it connected better with the chartreuse. Didn't really, oh wait, look at this. I will link this for you. It's from Rifle Paper Company. It's my winter 
water cup. It is the Nutcracker. And then I actually got a matching coffee mug, but I think it's in the dishwasher. 40 ounces. I just like having a festive holiday cup. I did the same arrangement I've always done in my art house vase, just those light up twigs from Amazon, some greens. Then I have my Pottery Barn gingerbread house, some anthropology towels. Oh my goodness. So, Kristen and Shelby from the Bay Area in California sent us a C's, I think it's C's. Candy's advent calendar to our P.O. box. It was such a fun surprise. So we have an additional C's Candy's advent calendar. Kristen and Shelby, thank you, thank you so, so much for it. Um, over here, I just did a nutcracker and switched out my cookbook. Nothing too exciting. Some little things over here. And then on our coffee bar, I just switched out to the vase filler with some leftover ornaments. Did some greenery, some bells, a little Santa thing. Just kept it really simple. And then I always keep some festive napkins there. I have to get moving. So Mabel and I spent the last three days up at my parents' house. Stephen flew into Buffalo because his sisters all came home for Thanksgiving, so he wanted to see them. So even though we saw his parents in September, he went up again so he could see his whole family. And then he's coming home actually today. He should actually be home in the next hour. I was just texting with him. I bought something though. Also, let me preface. This Vlogmas is going to be a lot of unboxing because we have decided to buy all new for, actually it's already bought, but we bought all new furniture so many new pieces. There's gonna be a lot of unboxing this Vlogmas. You'll have to bear with me. But let me show you this funny thing because I need your feedback. I fell down the rabbit, I fell down the rabbit hole of watching the Martha Stewart documentary. And then I was looking at all things Martha and I found a Martha on the mantle. So here's what I want to know. Do you, starting on day two of videos, because I won't do it today, hide her in the background and for you guys to look for her and comment when you see her. Let me know if that is a game you want to play. If you remember, I did this a few years ago with Gnomes in the Homes. So we have Martha on the mantle. So let me know in the comments. We'll start hiding her tomorrow if you guys are down. Like I said, we are buying a bunch of new stuff. So over here is this antique brass table I bought. It weighs like a hundred pounds. Some new lamps, some cord stuff that we'll need at the new house. This beautiful, it's the most I've ever spent on a tray, but we have a big fabric ottoman that I want to put this on. It's like a chagrin, is this chagrin? I forget what it's called. Leather tray. I love it. And then we have some rug mats for rugs because there's no carpet in the house, a new coffee machine, all sorts of things coming in on the daily. I bought these plugs I'm super excited about. You use them so you can flatten out on the outlet. They plug in and like bend so you can like push furniture against it. But yeah, we should probably get moving. She's just gonna chill. I want to get some coffee and maybe run a few errands. Ooh, so my perfect baby girl. Also, pardon my dirty shoes on the couch. Actually, they're not dirty. They're actually pretty new, but we all know Golden Goose makes their shoes look dirty. I love these, though. They're my festive. And the back says dreaming. Just super fun. All right, I'm gonna put my shoes on and we will rock and roll. Should we show them what you did? So, she got a hold of one of our pom-pom pillows and if you'll see, plucked pom-poms off one by one. And now, we find pom-poms. What is a zat? What is a zat? What is a zat? Did you do that? She owns the house. We simply live here. Was it my perfect baby girl? All right, we need to get moving. This day got away from me a little bit, but Steven is back from Buffalo. Say happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs>
<laughs> I've told them it's going to be an adventurous one. Oh, are you talking about my flight? <laughs> no, I was talking about it's going to be an adventurous vlogmas. Oh, with the moving. Move? Yeah. Oh, yes. He had an awful flight, too. I'm exhausted. <laughs> this has been the evening. Wow. Just some low key chilling out. We both have been away from home. So we're going to let him recover a little bit. Um, really quick, a couple things. So I went to the mall with my nieces the other day and I replenished my sleepy spray. I love this on my bed sheets and my pajamas. And then the body lotion, I keep it next to my bed. And then a couple deliveries just came. Stickums, if you never use this and you have a taper candle, this is a candle adhesive for getting it in your candle holder properly. And then anyone who knows, I have to show Steven, knows in our move from New York to here, I lost the blade of my green chopper that I bought at Crate and Barrel when we first lived in Charlotte. When would we have lived, when would we have moved into the House of Myers Park? So 2009, I bought this chef and chopper and I lost and the blade. Bought it at Crate and Barrel? I bought it at Crate and Barrel originally. Did you buy another one? And I finally got a new one. But it's so depressing because our other one, I never sharpened that blade. I used it almost every day. Does the new one look different? No, it's exactly the same. Okay. So 2009, how many years? How much did it cost? I think it was $15. Which I'm assuming back in 2009 when I bought it at Crate and Barrel, it was cheaper. Yeah, well, how old was it? It was 15 years old. So, it's been probably the most recommended thing I've ever So Look, it comes with a lid now. Oh, fancy. It's exactly the same. Can you take that off, babe? But now when you chop something and you want to save it, mine didn't no, come with a lid. No, it's different. It has a plastic lid on the bottom now. Be careful, don't cut yourself. Oh, that is different. It used to just be... Have two lids, right? Yeah, two. I hope it works. Oh, it is three. Huh. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've improved it. <laughs> they've improved it. So yeah, so now we have a lid. So fancy. So this just goes in here. You cut up everything. You put the blade in, and then you just pull on this, and it chops everything up. I love this thing. So I have a new one for the new house. But you know how much I use that thing. It's one of my favorites. Um, all right, so it's time to do advent calendars. And we have, oh wait, we have one over here. I'm just gonna leave them all on the dining room table. The most oh, important Mabel's one. Are, Mabel's already in bed. Well, can you call her down? We'll do hers first. Here, you do the honors. So we have an avid, <gasps> what is this? It's day one. I don't know, she's not as food motivated as Bubba's, so she might not be into it. All right, let's see. Day one. I would like to Looky. Oh, it's an advent calendar. Yes. What is it? Oh, this is, one, this is the same one we got last year. Do you want this? What is this? <gasps> Go have it. <laughs> if you eat that frosted cookie on the couch. What is it? Maybe if I break it in half. <laughs> She's not like a Bubba's. No. She's gonna lick it on the couch and get red frosting and red food coloring all over the couch. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it there. Look, if it stays there, I'm going to put it in your cookie bit. I think she's having a hard time picking it up. This isn't going to be as eventful as Bubba's. Maybe I should take this. If you put it in a pup cup. There she goes. Oh wait, she can't eat it on the couch though. Maybe we should be in her bed. No. Nope. Hey, get down. No, oh, no, oh, no. oh, 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 oh. 
She just dropped it on the couch. Now she's gonna be afraid to eat it. Well, she shouldn't be. Oh, she dropped it in. Ew. She, she dropped it in between the cushions, <laughs> which is where things go to die. Get it with daddy over there. Well, now it's getting the floor up. Nice. <laughs> Maybe if we put it on a plate. <laughs> You're gonna put it on a plate? Or in her. Oh, her bowl isn't out here. Okay, here. Eat this on the plate. This is for you. It's not that big of a cookie. Uh, Don't you can't make noises though because it makes her angry. But it uh, it makes her anxious. All right, we're gonna let her eat in peace. Oh, also, our Christmas candle came from Nest, the birch wood and pine. But I'm saving it for the new house as well before we burn it. Such a good candle. The plate worked, so we'll have to serve her on china. Um, can you go buy some Wedgwood at Williams Sonoma? Do they sell Wedgwood at Williams Sonoma? I don't know. Um, no, we're not buying fine china for her to eat off of. This has just gone too far. <laughs> All right, let's do advent calendars. So the first one I have is a Taylor Swift Eras Tour. As the Eras Tour wraps up, I thought this would be fun. I think they're like little figurines of her in different era so our first one is oh they're like holographic um our first one is this debut yeah this has to be debut this one's also not as fun because they are in um order all right joe malone is a 12 day so we won't mess with that I got this stationary one. Look how beautiful it is. It's like a set of books. And then each is like beautifully gold foiled. I am going to save these for something. The first thing in here is, that is really nice. It reminds me of the Lamy pens. Oh, it is a fountain pen. Like a fountain tip pen. We are going to write with this to see the quality of it later. But I just thought this one was so pretty with like the book vibe. Love. All right. And this is from Martha Brooke London. Um, let's, well, let's go ahead. Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love. This is so crazy to be doing this and another Vlogmas is he here. And it is just beginning with our Sugar Fina. And this is chocolate covered cookie dough. Sounds delicious. That is so cute. Look at the inside of this. Oh, thank you so much for sending this. This is so cool. Um, number one is right here. And it looks like a, some truffle of some kind. We are going to try this. I might save that. Wait, we have a nativity to open too. Steven surprised me with the Nespresso one. Day one is right here. And we will have this tomorrow. We have unforgettable double espresso. I'll save that for tomorrow morning. Let me go figure out where I put the nativity. So I have a nativity one. I thought we had lost it. You set it up like that. So it, this starts as the stage. And then here in this series of a book, you find your days. So day one. And I am constructing 
the manger. So let's give this a shot. Oh, this looks actually quite easy. So I think this is gonna go in here. This one will go on this side. <laughs> Not as easy. There will be no room at the end if I cannot get this roof on. This stable is unstable. Oh my goodness, why is this so challenging? And I can't curse because it's the baby Jesus, so. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I got it. Hoi! Well, I did have it, and then my perfectionism kicked in. Okay. So, we have a stable. I'm nervous. If they all go like that, I will be mentally unstable at the end of this, so. Here's hoping. All right, so that's our nativity. We did our Nespresso. I think we have done all of our advent calendars. I think I'm gonna just leave them set up like so. This first day of Vlogmas, mm, not super adventurous. I think I have so much on my plate that these first couple can actually be a little easy breezy. But here we go, friends. Vlogmas day one in the books. 24 more to go. We're in for a ride. <laughs> in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.